I think I do see a different level of, of confidence, obviously, because they're a successful season this year so far. Um, and they also have a lot of uh, a lot of guys who have been in the, in the TCU system for a couple of years, and you know, they have Boykins, and uh, they have a couple of good running backs, and some really good receivers. And so, I think the fact that they have a lot of talent, they have a lot of um, explosiveness, and a lot of guys who can make electric plays happen on their offense. Uh, I think knowing that can bring a lot of confidence, and so I think. Uh, I think it's be one of the first teams that we see that for every aspect of the game, you know, they can just make plays from the quarterback to the running back to the receivers, and um, you know, it's just a, a dangerous team, you know. So I think we we'll have to really key on every aspect of their offense. Do they remind you of anybody else? Um, you know, if I were to think of a team that they remind me of, uh, probably Oklahoma and Auburn. You know, having the the dual threat quarterback and then explosive receivers and then great running backs. You know, uh, those are the kind of teams that remind me of a TCU I can think of off the bat. So. What, what was your reaction when you saw they scored 82 points in a game? I don't know. I, that's just crazy. You know, I, That's more of like a basketball uh, a score. And so when I heard that, I was just like, you know, where's the defense at? You know? uh-huh. um, but, yeah, I mean, even Baylor and KU, you know, that was a high-scoring game for Baylor. And when you, see, when you see scores like that, it usually means that the, you know, the defense wasn't – very disciplined, or maybe didn't play as well as they should, and and also show that they have really explosive plays. You know, they're all about big plays and throwing the ball down the field, and so uh, so that they score pretty quickly as well. So those are some of the thoughts that run through my head.